Ooh, hello everyone, this is MF2 and Zerman, and joining me is... The one that has to remind Morty that he actually had to put the screen share up in order to do this. You know what? I kind of realized something. I kind of need to show this from the very beginning and all that. To... Yeah, you do. So, okay. So, I made a few alterations from the surprises I showed Power and Link personally last night. So... And among some of the alterations, well, I don't know how to change the World of Pokemon opening bit in terms of the tech speed automatically set to fast. But, uh, I am working on experimenting with what I can at the moment. What, did you want, what, which Pokemon Professor Oak chose to be different? No, actually... no, no, I actually wanted to keep the Kano starters, to be honest, so... No, I mean, the. did you want a Pokemon other than the Nate Arena that Oak shows in the beginning? Um, maybe? I don't know. There might be something that does that. Uh, but anyways, enough of that. Uh, you'll notice the PC is rigged to automatically start with several different key, crucial items here. Uh, and there is a reason why the vitamins all have 26 each uh, right off the bat. So, Wait, this is is the that the... You'll see in a moment if it actually works. Uh... I would have said... It... Oh, and by the way, to activate the running shoes in this game, the original scripted event is removed, but you press... You read this in order to get the running shoes in the game. That activates the flag in order to set you to be able to use the running shoes. So you can run right from the beginning. Yeah. You have to look at that sign, though. Otherwise, the flag's never going to activate. So... You can do a running shoes list playthrough if you really want to. Eh, I, I got bored with just setting it to automatically turned on by default. So I simply gave everyone the choice of whether or not they wanted to go the entire goddamn game without the running shoes, perhaps. But, uh... We're already kind of getting crazy already, and also, for that matter, uh, the Kano starters are uh, now 50% male or female in this regard, so... That Despite is the fact that every single time, that Charmander's been a female. <laughs> Actually, no, it's been even relatively even in both. Uh, well, every time I've seen it, it's been female. Now, I forgot to... Thank goodness for this little thing. Because I was supposed to demonstrate the, uh, the vitamins before I got too far in. <laughs> vitamins go Because you're literally making I haven't found a way to use them all at once for maxing out a given stat and all that, but, uh... I don't As think you'll that... notice, they actually go up to the newfound set cap of 252, uh, like in modern day generations like Sword and Shield. So that the extra three points aren't wasted. Basically, yeah. Because it's I'm a step one I'm trying to find out how to basically remove the stat caps altogether, so that'll allow everything to be set to max. Uh, but I still haven't gotten to that point yet. So. Oh, jeez. Are you That's talking about That's why I gave the... you all the vitamins rather than just some of them, basically. Like, you were supposed to be able to max out the starter in the moment you got it and a few other extras along the way. You're a madman, you know that? Although, admittedly, not quite as much of a madman as the person that designed the controls for the uh, Switch Online version of Legend of Zelda in 64. Seriously, what the f were they thinking? Also, for that matter, why the fuck is... 
is the left trigger on the switch to Z button. The Z button was always on the... It's always where the right button would be on controllers today. That's going to annoy me so much, I can imagine. Yeah, that isn't com completely a natural Z button placement. Hell, when I map the controllers to Project 64, I make damn sure that the right, the shorter button is the Z button. Oh, and for the record, uh, every Pokemon now has the exact same XP rate in Gen 3 uh, that Chansey and Bliss Seals or Wise had going for them. Well, that makes grinding ludicrously easy. <laughs> What's next? The level cap is above 100? Nah, nah, that's for tryhards of anything. Wait, I, I mean, Sh Shuri's played some ROM hacks that actually do make the level cap go Honestly, above 100. Honestly, that's too much of a hassle worth the effort, if anything. So it's a you would if you could, but you're not going to. Basically, yeah. At least for now, until you figure out a way to make it a little bit easier. That is way too much XP for a Pidgey to give. <laughs> Again, everything set to Blissey's value, so yeah, of course. Like, dear God, you're going to have a Charizard before the second gym. Considering how I designed the gym leaders, that's kind of the fucking point. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh oh, don't worry, you'll see even the moment we get the Brock, so... What the fuck have you done? <laughs> oh, and then don't even give me started on Giovanni for that matter, because, uh... There's a reason they call him Big G, so... <laughs> So if far, he has a... You go first. So far, I haven't really been able to change anything story-wise aside from that one particular uh, event that would have happened in Pewter City just as you exited after getting the first badge, but... But that's really a non-issue in the end of the day when all that's for is just the running shoes, so... Oh, you'll eventually find the way to, uh... To be able to change all that stuff. And when you do, uh, it'll be a cold day in hell for everybody. And so far, I haven't actually rebalanced the rivals' teams yet, aside from the alterations I made to Pokemon they'll be using, like the Kano starters, um, and also some, uh, and also the final teams they'll have by the time you face them in the Elite Four the first time and then the rematch for that. I'm just going to assume there are too they're many, going to be... There are too many character files for them and trainer things and all that so for me to go through it all at once and get them all done like that. So... You don't have the time yet. Basically. What would you do if you had the time? I 
I honestly have no idea. Oh, by the way, you're gonna get a field day over what the hell I did to the goddamn HMs in this game, I will admit. I mean, they're still in the game, I have to assume. Yeah. But they're actually usable, as I should put it. I can't remember the exact specifics of what all I done, but, uh... Did you at least keep it so that only flying types can use fly? Well, I was tempted on change. I haven't really changed most of the move pools yet. The most I have changed is like the Kano starters and Gyarados in that regard, so. Oh, what'd you do to Water Onyx? That's a joke. Uh, David, popular. slightly less defense, slightly more speed, significantly more HP, slightly boosted special defense, uh, and a crap load more special attack than it ever had. You mean you actually made it more in line with what the it had Gen 1, when special was even everything. Even more. Even more, actually. And also, it doesn't even know Intimidate anymore. It still gets pure power, if I'm not mistaken. You mean huge power. There's two abilities, actually. One is huge power, one of the others is pure power. Um, they both do the same thing, though, but I could have sworn I specified pure power in particular among the two. If they do the same thing, then why have two different ones? I don't that know. Just... I'm not the one who designed it. Yeah, that just seems redundant if you ask me. It's like I heard someone from the... Department of Redundancy Department for that one. But yeah, I assure you, if anyone has no idea of modern game mechanics in uh, regards to picking up this ROM hack, they will not survive. Explain? Well, for one, I already mentioned the aforementioned EV uh, cap restriction removed. Uh, when that actually comes to fruition, you're going to want to use every single of those vitamins and dump them into the starter ASAP. And then, of course, there's whether or not I get around anything like nature mints or anything, so... Which are probably just going to all change into nature outright, so, due to how limitations go at the moment. So. You're really fond of those mints. Yes! Yes, I am! Are you seriously going to get a Charizard before the first gym? <laughs> Again, there's a reason I'm kind of panicking at the moment, uh, because of what exactly is even in the first gym. Well, why would you be the one that's panicking? You're technically the one that designed it. At well, least this I iteration. Mean, I mean, you kind of have to see for yourself what kind of bullshit I just put in there, uh. Just know that when this does get completed, uh, sure he's gonna want to try it, and I'm pretty sure he knows his way around a fucking ROM hack. He'd have to in order to get through this one, me.
Brock's Gym was the first experimentations I did with testing things overall in terms of trainer modification, but... Um, so His far, name is Liam, show no mercy. <laughs> so far you'll notice no noteworthy changes to this guy, aside from a few level increases on his mons here. So you're wondering what the hell I did to Brock. Well, he normally has two Pokemon, I think. Maybe three. Um, why, the f why the fuck does he have, le have a level 20 Aerodactyl? I'd say that's the least of your concerns, if anything. Okay, the level 22 Onyx I could see because Onyx was Brock's ace in the anime. So of course it had to be fucking built. That Rhyhorn has Horn Drill, by the way, and it's also the highest leveled mod on his team. Meaning, if you're below level when you come to face them and all that, uh, which you really shouldn't be, um, Due to how the way this freaking hack is designed and all that, so. You were still able to one-shot his entire fucking team. Even though I had ludicrously buffed his whole team, uh, just for good measure, you know? Are you gonna have to go even further beyond... Oh no, I expect the later gym leaders to do that for me. Yeah, for the most part, uh, that little event there is no longer part of the game, I can confirm. Uh, so yeah, that sign on the train in, in your bedroom and all that, that's how you activate the running shoes. Just make sure you balance out the rest of the Pokemon in the game because you're still going to be expected to run a full team, especially considering what you've already done at this point. I'm aware, I'm aware. Kind of why I'm, among other things, I'm doing some weird shit regarding False Swipe. Uh, making it more accessible overall, but for now you'll not really see it right away. Are we just going to speedrun through the entire fucking game as you've made it thus far? <laughs> I kind of need to get to a certain point by a certain time, so, yeah. Did you put in a time-gated event? No. Then why would you need to do some by a certain time? I will have to be doing such a thing like that at some point, though, uh, if I can get the AI for the fucker to work and all that. This is going to be a real passion project for you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. The fucker I'm talking about is basically this SAX-type uh, entity, basically. Uh, in terms of how re ruthlessly hunting you down it will be. Um, I base the overall entity off of Hunter J from the Diamond and Pearl anime series. Um, and once this hunter has you in their sights... You'd better bail while you can. What does team even be? Is that a question I even want answered? Not yet. Not yet. You don't want to spoil the audience, I guess? Basically.
Like, there's a reason you're going to be wanting to get this thing in the first place. Uh, for one, there is this. You're fucking mental. For one, there is that little aforementioned move in terms of what the fuck I done did the full swipe and all that. That's a lot of PP maxes. How much PP does False Swipe have now? About the cap, basically. Nothing out of the ordinary, though, considering it's already kind of had 40 base power at the beginning. 40 PP to begin with, so 64 is the maximum amount it can have. That is a lot of False Swipes. So I will be modifying the levels of the, uh, Pokemon in, uh... Modifying the wild Pokemon to be more in line with the levels you're supposed to have. Basically. Across the board, I assume. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that reminds me, you're wondering what ungodly horrors I did the blast burn, yes? I'm just assuming a monstrous base power and PP adjustment. Oh, you have no idea. You're right. You might want to tell Shirui to get the fuck in here while I'm playing this live and all that, you know? <laughs> He's not on yet. Ah, god damn it. The reason I know he's not on is because he hasn't said hi to me in PM yet. Alright, so what the fuck did you do with Blaster now that you've PP maxed it? <sighs> okay, um... Well, I figured the base power kind of speaks for itself, obviously. Isn't that the power of explosion or self-destruct? Explosion, yeah. What else does it do? 
Let me get into a trainer battle for this one, because that's the real best way I can explain what happened here. That and I'm trying to be cautious about leveling, uh, leveling, uh, Magikarp, because if I get him above 20 by the time he evolves, uh, he'll miss out on learning Crunch until, like, the move relearn and all that. Honestly, I might just move the move relearner all the way over to Pewter City, if anything, to be honest. Ah, free Pokemon. Perfect to demonstrate this with. You fucking crossed Blast Burn with ancient power and gave it the power of explosion. Oh, that ain't even the best part. It's guaranteed. Fuck off. The buff is guaranteed. What kind of absolute fucking madman are you?
Oh yeah, while we're on the subject of Gyarados, Water Dark. Well, you've made it so that ele electricity doesn't, like, one-shot the fucking thing, but what else did you do? Well, for one, it actually has a higher special attack than it does regular attack, because pure power more than makes up for the physical attack, if anything, so... Yay, 20 games left to win in my basketball game. Okay, something's done iffy with, a, with a false swipe at the moment. I'm gonna have to look into that later, apparently. It's not supposed to kill the Pokemon, is it? Uh, I'm... I'm fucking sorry, but... Did that literally do one damage? I can't if remember like... what the exact situation was, but, uh... I can assure you at the very fucking least, though, it was not doing the damage it was supposed to. Yeah, I would imagine so. Might just be because of the type I modified it to be, but, uh, that might just be it in that case and nothing more. Like, holy shit. I know there's some weak sauce moves, but at least Splash does five damage in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. No, seriously, Splash actually does something in that game. I'm gonna be re redoing this an entire run anyway, the moment I get the frickin' EV cap unlocked entirely, so... Rawr. So much for false life for now. Yeah, you're gonna have to fix it doing only one damage. I'm just assuming that's what it's doing since it did move the HP bar, but barely. Hmm. A 120 base power move shouldn't be doing that little bit of it, that little health. Did I ask what kind of fuck shit you did with Misty? Let's just say you're about to find out. Free Pokemon just like Brock. What the fuck? Marty? What yes. the fuck? Yeah, what about it? The Starmie I can see being that high level since it was her ace in the anime.
I don't remember her having a gold duck though. I don't want to know what you did with the other six gym leaders. Oh, and the Elite you, Four. You'll find out in due time. You'll find out in due time. <sighs> so anyways, this has been MF217 with... Power. And thank you in advance for watching.